Fraser, congratulations on the victory and on the performance. How are you feeling? Yeah, tired. Um, I think that's my first 90 minutes since I think it was Cambridge in the Papa John's uh, trophy, and I think the boys played well and we're happy with the win. Yeah, what's the dressing room feeling like? Because obviously, after two defeats, there was. Uh, yeah. Well, a bit of concern possibly from some fans and obviously wanting to get back on the winning, on the winning way so you must be happy to achieve that. Yeah of course in football like you, you can't listen to the outside media or whoever it is, social media, you, you're in there together, you listen to the people, oh, the manager, whoever else it is and you try and do your best and obviously we had two defeats on the bounce and we analysed it and we just knew where we weren't good enough and it was just we needed to work harder and uh, give more. Yeah, when you are not involved in the team, and maybe they're not doing as well as you'd like to see, you, you're having to be patient. What's that like, the day-to-day -day coming into training, having to wait, I guess? Yeah, it's, it's, it's not what you want to do. You, yeah, you do get frustrated, but you have to be ready. You always have to be ready because this is your job. You have This is your job to play football. So if you're not ready, then you'll soon start falling down the pecking order. and. That's just how it is. Yeah, and you must be pleased once you've given that opportunity. Mm. You put in a, an impressive performance today and you look quite settled as that sort of left footed centre back. It suits your game, doesn't it? Yeah, it does suit my game. I like getting on the ball, I like controlling things, I like talking to people. You make it a lot easier when you can uh, talk to people in front of you. But I just feel like I had a point to prove today. I've not been in the team as much as I wanted to, and I really wanted to try and take my opportunity when I got it hopefully to cement that place as well. We know that Nathan Thompson might be out for a, a couple of weeks, so it's an opportunity for you to, to make that spot your own. Yeah, there's a lot of competition in the team and we've got a lot of good players, a lot of good defensive players as well. And if I can just put in good performances and be consistent, that's the one thing. Uh, the top players are consistent, so I need to be more consistent. Last year, I was a bit in spits and spurts, and I had a few good games, a few poor games, but I now need to be consistent with it and try. And this is only one game that I've uh, in in the league that I've had really, so I won't get too high about it. I'll just get back to working on the training ground. And of course, another challenge here that you've played a game Tuesday. There's a possibility of playing again Saturday. And if you've not been in the team on a regular basis, it's a test for you, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is a test. Every, like I said, I think I said to, uh, in the, my latest interview, every time you put a shirt on for this club, there's pressure to win games. They want to get out of this league, and I'm so grateful for the opportunity just to be here. Yeah, the players must be uh, buzzing because you're up there at the moment in the table, and there's an opportunity to end this run. In League One, what's it in like in there at the moment? Yes, yeah, obviously the music's blaring out and everyone's happy, but this is just, we've now got a cup game at the weekend, that's our focus. We like, it's cliche to say it, but we just take one game as it comes. I think, is it 13, 14 games now in the league? So that's now what, one third of the league now sorted. So if we can just, we're in a good position, if we can now just go into the FA Cup game, get our mentality right, and put in a good performance there as well.